just the fact that it's small, you know, you're, you're able to relate to the professors and, you know, you're not just a number. I think what made me choose broadcasting is to one day give a voice um, to the people who don't have a voice, like learning how to use a camera, learning how to ask important questions. The difference with the WIU Department of Broadcasting Journalism, this is so very important. This is why, um, in, especially in production, you're going to have a higher success rate from this program than a place like Mizzou or Northwestern uh, is from year one, from day one. And I can be a, a testament to this, quite literally day one, my hands were on a piece of equipment. Good afternoon and welcome to Hanson Field. The Leathernecks are at home today and they are looking for their first win against South Dakota University. Going good with their coach gone, so I'm not sure if this is a coincidence or... I would say that my experience has helped me learn that you have to be adaptable, um, you have to be versatile, and you have to be able to go out, get what you need, bring it back, and meet a deadline. It's hard to find anyone who wants to vote yes on this measure. I went to the local gas station to hear what residents have to say, and everyone I talked to said they want the sale of alcohol. University is you were able to see where the potential could go and then they guide you to get wherever you wanted to go, whether it was on a producer side or you want to be on TV or, hey, we have a news station, we have great ties with WGM, which I worked at freshman year, and that set a huge milestone of, hey, yeah, it's an hour away, but if you're willing to make the drive, it's going to separate you. And it's just without like seeing all that stuff, you know, I don't know if I'd be where I am today. Out there, being able to get that experience, knowing how to work a camera, just simple, just getting the basic fundamentals of broadcasting, um, writing, um, learning how to edit video, knowing how to get shots, knowing how to set up shots, knowing how to do interviews. Those are important because you are going to need uh, that experience going into your first shot. Trying different things to see what I like. Because when I originally came in, I thought I wanted to be a sports announcer. But then I tried it and then it just wasn't really me. So I went more to the technical side and found I really liked directing. Um, I was able to become the technical director for news. And that obviously helped me get to my job now. But you know, I had to work from the bottom, you know, do camera and then learn prompter and this, that, and the third. And then also, you know, getting in the truck and just doing those live broadcast events. I think that's the other really big thing is our stuff isn't pre-recorded. It was all live. Well, I think it was my junior year, me and a few other students started a PR and advertising club called P uh, Boundless Communications. And it's a great opportunity. We kind of built it from the ground up, so we call it our baby. And we helped out a bunch of different businesses in the area. So we helped out with a nursing home. We did an ad campaign for them, which was really cool and kind of opened my eyes like, oh, I could definitely see myself doing this in the future. 